fun. Oh, I am um, again. Ride on tractor again. Okay. <laughs> In just a few minutes, I gotta plant some things, okay? Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm planting three new plants in my garden that I'm really excited about. Look at this plant. It's called Pink Diamonds Dicentra. It's a type of bleeding heart, but it's a little bit different than the traditional type of bleeding hearts that you see, you know, with the long arching stems where the blooms kind of hang down in a line. These come up on a single stem and then they just hang in these just kind of drippy looking clusters with two-toned pink blooms. I think they're just the sweetest things and they make for really excellent cut flowers, which makes me very excited, but they're an alpine type uh, dicentra, so they can handle a lot more adversity in the garden. Uh, they can take a lot more sun. In fact, they can take full sun positions, which typical like regular dicentras can't handle that. And they bloom all season long. So we should be able to enjoy these blooms for a long time, which makes it such a versatile plant to me. It's kind of like when I learned about the Color Blaze Coleus series, how you could use it in sun or shade, or the new hooker is out that can handle a lot more sun. This is kind of falling into that same category for me because it becomes a much more versatile plant when I can put it in all different kinds of light exposure. So let me grab all three of these. I'll show you where they're gonna go. So this one is brand new in garden centers this year and this is the first time I'm putting it in my garden. So this is gonna be a really fun experiment to see if it lives up to all the hype. It's always fun to try out new plants but I want to put them right here by our gazebo area. They grow about 12 to 16 inches tall and they'll spread out up to 18 inches. They're a fairly slow grower though. Um, so I'm thinking that this little trio will be really sweet. I've got a little quick fire hydrangea right there. So I might even bump this one forward a little bit to give that more room. Hey baby. <laughs> We're doing a lot of hanging out together at home these days. So Benjamin's just been playing around. Are you gonna play with the croquet set? You want to ride on the tractor, huh? <laughs> I'll give you a ride when we're all done. Uh, last year, you might remember, I had ver uh, vertigo penicetum and pentis right here and some sweet potato vine. It was really beautiful, but I do want to start putting perennials in as I find things that I like. These are also a zone three through nine. So they're super winter hardy, really tough little plants. So I'm gonna go grab my other supplies and we'll get them in the ground. I think that they look really sweet in this area and would you believe that every single hole that I dug this morning there was a drip tube that was running right through the area where I wanted the root ball so I had to do a little bit of shifting with the drip tube I thankfully didn't have to run any new lines or anything but I do know that these will be well watered now they do not like to be in a position that holds on to too much moisture so you want to make sure you're putting them in an area that drains well and um, they'll perform a heck of a lot better but I just love the way their foliage looks Benjamin, do you love the leaves? Look at this, they're so soft. Do you wanna feel? They're just this beautiful, yeah, look at that. Kind of silvery blue, ferny looking foliage. I actually have two more of these. It was a little hard to resist planting a group of five, but because they bloom for so long, for so much of the season, and because their leaves are so beautiful, I thought it'd be fun to try a couple out in containers. Because even if they didn't bloom the entire season, which they should, but even if they didn't, I think their leaves would take them through. Like it would carry them through just how much beauty their leaves give. So anyway, that's all for this video. Um, and you know, for the foreseeable future, <clears throat> our videos will probably be a little bit shorter than normal because you know, we're all staying at home. Um, we don't have family coming over or friends or anybody to watch Benjamin. So he's a pretty good boy, but our projects probably won't be quite as extensive for just a little while. We'll still keep trying to put out as much 
uh, videos as we can. We do have some beautiful things to plant like these right here. So anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well and staying healthy and making the most of this slower time that we get to take at home and maybe spending a little bit more time focusing on our gardens and maybe projects we've been putting off and all that sort of thing. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Our lawn does need to be mowed, so this is good. You're helping us out, buddy.